This week on the weekly hip hop wrap up, we're going over Itzy, Yeji from Itzy, Ru Jin from Itzy, NCT 127, and Woods. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Landon, and we are here again today for another K-Pop Weekly Wrap-Up. A lot of itsy content this week, and also if you're looking for my Jimin Closer Than This reaction, that will be in a separate video posted right after this, so don't worry your little heads off. We're gonna watch that, maybe twice, I don't know, I didn't realize it was a music video, bitch. And I'm excited. But first off, we're going to be going over the five new K-pop songs that came out this week. And I hope you're excited. Let's go through our Itzy era first. We're in our Itzy era. We're going to start with Itzy itself with a song called Born To Be. And then we have two solo releases as well. First off, this is Itzy, Born To Be. Oh, oh. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Oh, oh. I'm already obsessed. Oh, I love this. Y'all, the dancing, the video, the sets, the outfit, the song. Fuck with this heavy. Yo, I love this choreo and shit. Okay, Ripple. Ah, oh, 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 oh. Y'all! Fucking itsy. Okay. If you can hear that, that's my washing machine going crazy. Y'all, that is probably my favorite itsy song that I've ever heard. Hello, ring the alarm, sound the troops. We've got a favorite. And I do understand right now that that's kind of sad to say because I do have a little note here from Emily saying this era is missing one of their members, Leah, as she is on a mental health break right now. So I want to send all my love to her, but like, I was gags by that choreography. That choreography was so good. And y'all know, y'all, if, if, oh, if you know me, if you've been on this channel, you know this is my kind of music. You know this is what I want. I want it to feel like we're in a, in a club in 2010, baby. I want to feel like I'm always walking through the gym. You know, like that's what I want to hear. And that's what they serve. The outfits were giving everything. I feel like the only thing that I could say is that like the very end, we went into like a double time super duper dance break or something. That would have just been 
the cherry on top. Other than that, I F with that. It's I. It's I. Is that how they say it in Australia? It's I. You did great. <laughs> now, that was really good, though. Honestly, I think definitely my favorite Itzy song so far. Okay, Born to be Dead. In the video, y'all, the colors, my favorite colors, red and black, like, coming together. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm proud. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that a lot. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. The next song we're going over today is staying in our Itzy realm with Ru Jin with a song called Runaway and its own music video. What's going on with this? Can y'all explain why there's some like solo stuff coming out also on the side? Is it like solo songs from the album? I need help. But after I just watched that, damn bish. I love that. This one is Runaway. Oh no no. Not fleek anymore. Damn. That's your stuff. Okay, short, sweet to the point. Short, sweet to the point. Okay, that was Run Away by Ru Jin. I hope I'm saying that right. Please let me know. Um, first off, girl, I just got to tell you, like, it kind of lost me when you said makeup on fleek. That's like literally saying my outfit is swag. Like, we don't do that no more. Okay, you can say what you want to say and I'm not going to stop you, but it threw me off. I did like the song though. The song was pretty fun. Not as much as Born to Be, but also this one gave me like teen movie runaway scene. You know, like this is the the part where you run away in the movie and you're just rebellion. You're rebellious. You're throwing stuff around. But I guess that's the music video that kind of influenced me. Overall, it was a, it was a good song. Not my favorite out of the two that we've heard so far. But girl, change the line, please. Makeup looks chic something come on not on fleek not on fleek in 2023 going on 2024 it's fine it's fine all right the next song we're going over today is our itsy journey we're continuing with yeji yeji there's a song called crown on my head crown crown on my head and this just makes me feel like just the title itself makes me feel like i'm gonna like this one but i don't know it's giving me you should see me in a crown by billy eilish which was one of my favorite songs by her i'm not gonna say this gonna be like that but this is yeji crown on my head okay going to rock again yeah Oh, but this is the color palette and shit that I really love. Oh, dancers. Hey. She's beautiful, bro. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey, oh my god, I love that set. I 
I love this. Like, that was fucking sick. That was sick. Okay, yeah, G. Yes, please. Yeah, G. I was very much here with that. Like I said literally earlier, what do I love about the Born to Be video? The color scheme, the choreography, the dancing, the rapping. Yep. And it brought it back. This is like a little part two. Like a little part two right there. I love that. I think that that is definitely my second favorite out of the itsy sphere that we've been going into today. Definitely Born to Be was my favorite. Crowd on my head, number two. And then Runaway is not bad it's just not my favorite favorite out of everything it's a little bit more simplified a little bit more like alternative uh, <laughs> which is cool with me too but that's fine the next song we're going over today is nct127 be there for me music video i'm guessing this is christmas Want to play some ping pong? of course i don't understand Not beer pong, what's going on here? Yogini me, Jabu Gyodia. Show double down the roadside. I moved to Nuni on the mobile. I'm here for that outfit, though. All the outfits. What is with the furniture thing? Okay. In one of these rare cases, I think I like the verses more than I like this chorus. I have no idea what's happening. It has to be some kind of storyline. Well, fuck. That is not how an auction's supposed to go. Y'all are not dancing in the debris. This is like the opposite of a Christmas miracle. Y'all work so hard on all that. I 
Like, they got great voices, don't get me wrong. That sounds nasty. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, to be honest with you, I think that I really enjoyed the verses of that song more than I did the actual chorus. The chorus would just take me out of it every time. I didn't really get the whole um, furniture thing, but looking at the album, it looks like it may be like a theme, something like that going on. But good for them. I love the outfits in that one, if anything. That was my favorite thing about that video, where all the different creative stylistic choices the stylist made, and like they need a raise for that. I'll tell you that much. Other than that, it was it was good. They had some great harmonies in there. They had some really good raps in there. They had some um, good little vocals too. But overall, not my favorite. But that's okay. We're gonna love some and not love some. But we have one more video left to watch today. It is from the one and only Woods with a song called Amnesia. Let's see if I can put all my thoughts to the side and have a little amnesia moment. It's probably like one of the most abstract rock songs I've heard in a very long time. I'm 
confused. In like a good way? Is that possible? Like I liked it, but my brain can't comprehend it. It was so much happening in there, which was a good thing. It was fine. I, I, I loved the risks they were taking in this rock song too. Something about his voice just sounds so dissonant from the actual song, but then I kind of like that. And the mixing that they did with all the different instruments and the blah, 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 blah moments. And, and then the video made me feel like I was, a, I was a victim of the ring and I was, I was watching my final video. You know what I mean? Something about it was just like all over the place, but all together. That's one of those songs I gotta listen to a couple more times to really like, to, to hone in on. To know exactly what I'm experiencing right there. Because if I got one time and done with that, I would be sitting alone, confused. Maybe in a ball in the corner of my room, huddled up crying. I don't really know. But something about that, it just, it rubbed me in a weird way. But then also I liked it. I can't explain it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, everyone, that does it for our weekly K-pop wrap-up this week. Which one was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. I think it's obvious my favorite this week was Itzy Born To Be. I want to go listen to it again already. I think the second favorite of the week is Yeji with Crown On My Head. Then we have some other good ones, too. I liked Woods. I still am very confused with what happened with Woods. Ru Jin was also a good song, too. I just got really thrown off by Fleek. And I hate that that one word just made that experience difficult for me, the, the stomach. But I did enjoy it though. That was the that was the confusing part. We're having a confusing week this week. And lastly, NCT 127. It's um, not my fave. I had, they had some really good moments in there too, but not my fave. But I want to know what you all think. Let me know down below. While you're down there, make sure you click like and subscribe. Like I said, my closer than this music video reaction should be up right after this. So make sure you go check that out. But I'll be back next week with another K-pop wrap up. And until then, remember, I love ya. Bye. <laughs> I'd love to know them by name. So.